in continuing with the subject of reading a painting, reading a, a simple figurative uh, scroll work painting, we're looking at uh, really Padma Sambhava, uh, a very important figure in the, the early uh, transmission, early history of Buddhism in Tibet, and uh, a very important mythological figure in modern times and understanding uh, different forms of, of Buddhism going back 1500 years. So, the painting. The painting is um, on the Har website, is number 188, and the large central figure uh, is of a male uh, wearing a hat, a lot of um, looks like heavy clothes, maybe something that would be appropriate in, uh, in uh, high uh, altitude Tibetan weather. He's holding a Vajra in his upraised right hand, and he's holding a skull bowl in his left with a Katvanga staff leaning against his left shoulder. He is the prominent figure in the composition, so he is the main subject of the painting. Uh, remember, it's a uh, big to small. So big is most important, small lesser importance. But also, in the aphorism, we also have uh, inside to out. Uh, and, and immediately adjacent to him are two female figures. One is Mandarava and one is Yeshit Sogyal, uh, one being a, a, an Indian or Kashmiri uh, consort, the other Tibetan, Yeshit Sogyal. Uh, so, so these actually pertain directly to Padmasambhava himself. And this makes one actual number set, uh, the three of Udiana. It's just the name given to this group of three figures. Number sets are essential to memorize in Tibetan Buddhism and understanding Himalayan art because so many figures uh, belong to number sets and that's how you understand uh, compositions by understanding and identifying the figures, not necessarily always by individually knowing their names, but you know what set they belong to and you know how to find their names. So, big to small, top to bottom. So then we go to the top. At the very top we have Samantabhadra Buddha, blue in color, naked, uh, seated on some clouds. To his um, right side, which is our left side uh, of the composition, the viewer's left, is Amitabha Buddha, surrounded by two attendant figures. And on the far left side of Samantabhadra, and the left upper side of Padmasambhava, is Avalokiteshvara, with two small attendant figures. Then we look towards the bottom, and at the bottom we have the two figures on the left side, uh, viewers left is Shanti Rakshita, who is the, uh, the the most important Buddhist abbot to go to Tibet uh, at the same time or just prior to Padmasambhava in the 8th century. And then on the right side, we have King Trisung Detson. And this is another number set. This is uh, the, the, called the three, the three, abbot, acharya, and king. Uh, of course, this is a Tibetan saying, it's a, uh, but it's a number set. And it it's very common, and uh, most Tibetans will have, have heard of this. So, in this painting, we actually have three number sets. We have the three of Udiana, the Padmasambhava, Mandarava, and Yeshit Sogel. Then, counting Amitabha, Avalokiteshvar, and Padmasambhava, that is another common number set. And then at the bottom, we have the Padmas, the three, Abbot, Achari, and King, which again is a very, very famous, very common number set uh, within Tibetan Buddhism and known by uh, any, and, any and most Tibetans. So this is the uh, part two of reading a painting.